you need to log on to this thing called smojo.ai. So it's smojo.ai, not the editor. Okay, and you get this screen out here, right? You want to go into the sign up page, okay? Click on sign up. You need to click a username. It needs to be five characters or more. Give it a long enough password, okay? A valid email address. Now, any kind of personal information here is personal. We only use it for verification purposes. And sometimes we do blast newsletters, but very rarely, okay? Let's say if it's a, a systems upgrade or let's say it's some changes to your account, we will use that to contact you uh, here, okay? But you need also something called an invitation uh, code or an invite code. So this invitation code, if you have not received an email or if you don't have this email or invite code for any reason, then please contact Chris, okay? Chris will give you an invite code and will get you registered as well into the program, okay? So you need to fill all the stuff in, go right down, agree to our terms. Our terms and conditions are fairly straightforward. You know, basically don't do anything that's bad and illegal. Don't try and abuse other people. And we don't provide any uptime guarantees for the website. That's it, okay? And then click on create account and you're done, okay? So once you create an create account, it will take you into a different page, which is the editor. I will very slowly go through this editor because you need to understand it quite well. Okay, so there are two panels here. This panel here is where you write your chatbot code. Okay, and there are tabs. So like in this case, I've got one tab open here. Okay, and here, when you first go in, you have to, you have to click on login, all right? I've already logged in as, as this username, this dummy username here. Type in your username and type in the password that you use and click on okay, and then it will log you in. Okay, so this is the, code panel, the left-hand side. And this panel here is the output panel. Okay, so now I've logged in already. So once you've logged in, you can actually run this thing here, run script, okay? And it gives you some output here. That, that shows you you're fine, you're okay, you're in the system, all right? And you can actually proceed with, with everything else, right? So there are four buttons here. I think the main button is this one here, which is the file explorer it tells you what files they are. So right now I've got no files and no folders. That's okay, all right? This is the save button. Those of you who are old enough will recognize this. If you're young, perhaps you might not know what this is. Be scratching your head, but this is actually a floppy disk, okay? And it used to be the symbol for save, right? So you don't understand what it means. There's a little, you know, a tooltip there which tells you what, what it's all about, right? And this button, you will rarely use it for now. It, helps you to create a new folder in the cloud. Okay, so all of this is cloud storage, it's in the cloud. And right now I've got no projects. Okay, so far so good, yeah? So you got the login button. You also have a profile button, right? So in the profile button, we click it, right? It should give you a profile. You can change the image. You can, it's already filled in some details here for me, okay? And, you know, and you can put in your bio and so on. So this profile details will go into your community. So you click on community right now, you can see there are a lot of people on community. So this is my community page. Well, not my mine. This is my the fake one, the demo one. Okay. And you can see that there are a lot of people who have posted stuff on the community. And these are all community projects done by people on our platform. And you can download their, their, their source code and try it out on your own. Okay, but I'll come to the community shortly afterwards, okay? Before I do that, I want you to look at the learn section because this part is pretty important for you to understand, okay? So the learn part, you click on that, you will get several learning modules, okay? Now you can ignore all of these for the time being, just focus on the CU101 building checkbox. That's all, okay? And we'll work through this for the entirety of this week, okay? So if I click on that, it will take me to the, to the page for this uh, learning module. And you will see there are videos, which you can see there are eight lessons and we estimate it will take about six hours to complete, all right, all at once. And there's also a download section, okay? So that downloads the source code for this uh, module. So if I click on download, it will say download completed, all right? And that's good. If I go back 
to the IDE, to the editor, this is the editor view. Uh, and if I click on the file explorer now, you'll see, ha, huh, you've got the CU101 thing there, okay? And it should highlight in blue once you mouse over it. If I click on this, it will open up into a some code here, okay? So there's a place called lab instructions, which actually tell you, if I open this up, it's it explains all about building chatbots, et cetera, and so on. And it's divided into several tiny sessions. And these sessions uh, actually correspond to the videos that you can see. We go back here to the learn part. It goes back to the video session, that's session one for the introduction, session two for types and things, right? Session three for references and guards, et cetera, okay? There are eight sessions here. Not all of them are matched uh, into, the, uh, into the lab instructions, okay? The lab instructions are just, I think, under section, session three, four, 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 I think, four or five. My apologies, section six, right? So there are six sessions here, and this is all matched for CU101, okay? So what you should do is you should do that. You should go into the learn part. First, register, log in, go into the learn part, all right? Go to CU101, click hit the download button, then go back and look at the uh, lab notes, the lab, sorry, the lab instructions, okay? Lab instructions. Now, you can publish a chatbot fairly straightforwardly just by clicking on the main.m. So main.m is your major, your main file, right? Where all your, your code is located. Don't be worried about all this stuff, okay? Anything in purple, just FYI, anything in purple is comment and it's not, it's ignored by our system. All right, it's just FYI only, anything in purple. And don't worry about the code for now, right now it's not important, all right? The important part is you learn how to publish this chatbot, okay? So you click on publish here, right? There's, there ought to be a, bu a, a button here called publish. You click on publish, okay? Something magical happens, all right? It gives says success, all right? If it says error, that means something is wrong and you have to fix it, all right? That's where you can ask us on the Telegram group or you can try and figure it out yourself, okay? And I think in session uh, four, we'll show you some basic debugging techniques on how you can debug these things, all right? So you can even click on test. And what test does is it takes your chatbot and it gives it some simulated Q&A. So like in this case, the test should be, it asks the, test, the, the, the chatbot, first of all, are you an idiot? Then it asks, are you silly? And then it says, do you like bananas? <laughs> okay, it is a fairly odd thing to ask a chatbot, but if you click on test, right, the test chatbot will just answer, be kind, be kind, and I don't answer the question, all right? Now, if you publish it, okay, I just click on that already. You can click on the link here that's given out here. There's a link here. Click on that link there. You will enter your chatbot itself, and there is a space below where you can actually test and type, say, hello. Right, and you'll say I don't answer the question because it's a blank chatbot. Okay, there's nothing in there. Okay, but this is the the this is the mechanics on how you publish chatbot. 